Hello everybody! So today, we're gonna talk about a Christian video game called Chronicles- Be quiet, phone! I'm not asking for any text notifications. So anyway, the game that we're talking about is called Eye for Light Chronicles of the Resistance. Now this is a 2016 top-down adventure game released by Scarlet City Studios. Uh oh. I can't do this voice. But anyway, back to my normal voice. <laughs> Stop. Release for Android, iOS, Mac, and PC. So the demo is free, but it's got three episodes in season one that have been released, and you have to pay to get those. But it's got like over 10 hours of gameplay. It's got a good balance of mission, combat, crafting, but that's enough mumbo jumbo. So let's go ahead and dive in to the next part of the video where we talk about the story of the game. All right, so the story for this game is very interesting, and in my opinion, can stand up to lots of different mainstream video games. So with three different episodes, let's just say the story is pretty extensive. So I'm not gonna give you every single juicy detail. I'm gonna give you the overall synopsis. One day, you are mysteriously teleported into this world called Athasia by a device called an Aether Step. So you meet a guy named Lucas who has a, a weird habit of just uttering random exclamations. Galloping, guppy fish, greasy gear. So Lucas sends you on a mission where you run into two people that have been in a hot air balloon that crashed. I don't know if that happens every day in aphasia. These two guys are named, I believe, Alexander and Selena. So these two people are part of a group called the Resistance, which is a group that resists the false dictator emperor of aphasia. This narration is so boring. It's so boring. It's so boring. Hi. Hope your day's been well. Mine has too. So your job inside of this game is to get people to join the resistance and work to resist the power of Lucky over Athasia because he's the false ruler. Because he's like allegorical of the devil or something. From there, the rest of the game is basically just following missions as you follow the lead of the Scarlet Man, who is a mysterious person that calls shots for the resistance. He's basically allegorical of Jesus inside of this game. But the missions include capturing an airship from Lucky's automatons, getting to underground racers to join your cause and go into an icy world where all the ice is melting and it's gonna flood in day so if you don't reverse it but i feel like this game really got it right with mixing missions with the story to make a good balance i mean if you play a lot of mainstream games a lot of them have that balance of lots of side missions that help add a lot of gameplay duration to the story now just imagine you've had a joseph special voiceover <laughs> so now we're gonna talk about the gameplay yeah the, the, the gameplay so the gameplay for this game is well thought out, balanced between several main areas. So you got combat, you got some exploration, you got missions, you got crafting. There's a good balance of gameplay inside of this game. So we're gonna talk about the combat first, okay? There's a random map of Europe on the back of this paper for my notes. This is your geography lesson for today, guys. Don't ever let anybody tell you that my channel's not educational because it is. Look at this. The combat in this game, how it works is there are all these automaton robots controlled by Lucky. When you run into them, it starts a battle interface. So how it works is you and the automaton take turns attacking each other. And so when it's your turn, there's basically this wheel that pops up on the screen and there's a hand that spins around the wheel. If you click and the hand lands on a certain area, it'll be a critical attack on the enemy. If it lands in another area, it might not hurt the enemy at all. And if it lands at a different area, it'll just hurt them the normal amount. So let's just say I was horrible at timing the clicks in this game, especially when that hand was moving so quickly. It's all made up for it. This game has monkey automaton. Hey monkey, want a banana? <laughs> what? You don't want a, a banana because you're a grease monkey? Well, let me tell you something monkey. You either eat the banana or you get attacked by the banana. There are a good variety of weapons. Some are more effective against different types of enemies than others, so you want to make sure that you're using the right weapon. Now, this game has lots of missions. Side missions that you don't have to do, but will give you XP and items, and then main story missions that you have to do. Now, this does have a level up system, so basically you're gonna get a lot of XP from collecting items, from defeating enemies, especially from doing missions. As you level up, you'll get new recipes to craft new items. Crafting is another really cool part of this game. It also has good character customization because you get lots of outfits inside of this game. So you can create a very unique looking character. 
Now, this game also has multiplayer interaction, which I think is great. Not lots, but there are other people in this game that you can chat with, that will fight with you, other things like that. It's pretty cool. One time, I actually got banned from the chat because I was talking to one of them, and I was like, yo, let's go kill some automatons. And this is like a kid-friendly game. And so it censored the word kill. So it's like, huh? I wonder how I can sneak past the censor and somehow put in the word kill so I can say, let's go kill some automatons. I try to retype the message creative way so many times that I ended up getting banned. But yeah, I got my chat back in like a couple minutes. So as far as the graphics, the great a visual masterpiece. And don't you dare say otherwise, or I will do absolutely nothing. The graphics are so well developed. It has a low poly art style. It makes it look a little bit older than 2016, but look, it's still great. It's colorful. There's great variety in the automatons, good variety in weapons, good variety in costumes. There's also a lot of areas to explore in this game. So it's a pretty extensive world. The maps are well developed, like really well developed. They look great. Overall, this is a visually very, very good game. Overall, here are my thoughts about Art of Light Chronicles of the Resistance. So guys, this is overall, it's a very well-developed Christian video game. It's, it's like one of the best Christian games as far as gameplay that I've seen. Like, you'll be playing this game for a while, over 10 hours, probably more than that. And there's multiplayer interaction, which is practically non-existent in Christian video games because most of them don't have enough people playing to have multiplayer. I feel like the developers did a very good job on creating this game. Now, as far as any content that people might not like inside of this game, now, there is mild violence inside of this game. That didn't bother me at all, I mean, because it's not rated, but if it was rated, it'd be like everybody tending up and goats firing rockets out of their rear end. That's kind of weird, too. There is one character inside of the game that says G. He says it out of a well, which is kind of weird because he is a kid that lives inside of a well. If you really search into the history of G, it basically is derived from the name of Jesus. So it's a form of using God's name in vain. Now there's also a character inside of the game who wiggles his rear end at you. Yeah, not very nice. No sir. And then also parts of the game encourage you to blow up some of Lucky's equipment. And then along kind of the same topic, there are parts of the game where you basically disobey the laws and rules set by Lucky by doing some things that he's made illegal. Which, you you can get into a whole biblical theological discussion. Basically, I think from the storyline, Lucky's not the true ruler of Athasia. He just took over and dictated it, and he's supposed to represent the devil, whereas the Scarlet Man represents Jesus and God, so I guess he's the true ruler. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out my YouTube video. I hope that you enjoyed it. You know, we just, we try to put out great content here for all of you guys. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this out. There's one guy that was asking for it, and it took me forever, but here it is. So anyway, stay tuned. We got lots of great content coming. I have to think of a creative way to end the video. Um, uh, uh. Ah!